Don't well, look at me. Keep your head straight. Come here. I'm seeing your frown grip. Don't do that if you're not trying to do nothing. Yeah, I'm not the one to play like like that. What is it, bro? Let's see. Come here. You over here feeling my arms? Yeah, it feels good up. though. Stand up. I thought y'all said you wasn't gonna touch it. See. So like. Let me stop, for real. Let me stop. Hey, man, I ain't the one to play. If you really, you feel me? And yeah, as soon as he started touching and feeling on her, you know it's a wrap. And you know, she probably persuaded him that he's one of her best guy friends or he's like a brother to her. When we all know better than that, we all been in that position before. I'm gonna I'm I'm keep it a buck with you, for real. Mm -hmm. We go upstairs. What are you doing that? You gonna, you gonna give me that massage you was talking about? A little more than that, though. You sound fine. As long as it's a good time. Come on in. No. What is this? Is the real question. So is what are you being honest right now or are you just saying that? I'm being very honest. You know what you got? So that bothering him why you said? Cause how can you tell a grown man that his like how do you comfortably say it really ain't working or it's really not good? Like I understand people are a grower and not a shower, but you're not a grower or a fucking shower. So why are you saying that now? Well shit, he wants some shit, I'm just letting you know what it is. You ask me why I'm cheating, why I'm not loyal, shit, I'm letting you know. You wanted an answer. And he tried to question her like she's gonna give a fuck. You know, if it's shit small, you know, they could have had a conversation about it or she could have left. This is literally the definition of having your cake and eating it too. I helped you with your startup money. I helped you buy product. I helped you with your taxes. I helped you get grants for small businesses. Don't tell me what okay, I didn't I'm help you honest. with. honest, okay, you telling me all you helped me with, but what the fuck that gotta do with your pain? It don't work. Okay. what? Okay. <laughs> Coochie dry bookie, what the fuck you want me to do? But nah, never try to bring stuff up to try to make the other person feel guilty. Cause that guilt trip definitely backfired, yo. So you trying to embarrass me, but who's really embarrassed? What's that rhino pill? Let's try it. I even recommended it. So is what, are you being honest right now? Or are you just saying that? I'm being very honest. You know, is this what you wanted to hear? Cause you obviously looking, this is the answer you wanted, right? You wanted some truth, this the truth. I wanted the truth the same time you was asking me for money. I wanted the truth the same time you, you was laying next to me telling me about your problems you was having with your business and I was being real with you. That's what I wanted. Okay, in the same way I rolled over and told you about the problems with my business, I expected to roll over and get some good shit, but that ain't happening, so. That. Cheers. In my opinion, the best way to handle this is you just gotta chalk up the L, take whatever accountability and learn from the situation and move on, yo. At the end of the day, you got to sit back and analyze what you did wrong, despite everything. You know, she's a messed up person, but obviously you did something wrong to put yourself in that situation. So, you know, that's just my opinion. But let me know in the comments how y'all feel about it. And of course, if you like the video, make sure you like and subscribe.